Welcome to the Breakfast Time Broadcast with Victory Igori Ogagbon. The BFT Broadcast is a platform where we share God's undiluted word with you every Monday. My name is Avicii Adesua Igori Ogagbon. Remember, his word is light. His word is a lamp to guide us from sleeping. Victory Igori Ogagbon, the Breakfast Time Broadcast Convener and your host. Good morning, everybody. I welcome you to Breakfast Time Broadcast again, aka BFT. My name is Avicii Adesu Igori Ogagbon. By the sure mercy of the Most High God, I am the host and the convener of Breakfast Time and it has been running for five years. This year will make it the sixth year. This is the Lord's doing and behold, it is marvelous in our sight. All our first timer, I welcome you specially to this great platform. We share God's word in diverse form and as God gives us ability and all our breakfast family, the Lord bless you really good in jesus name i trust god you've been joining us on the opera for mercy and the lord has been faithful we are gradually coming to an end of this opera that started since on the second and i want to appreciate god for all the ministers the music ministers all the ones that led us to pray the lord honor you all in jesus awesome name it's 30 night opera for mercy just seeking god for his mercy so on this note let's bow our heads as we quickly Pray, Father, internal God, we are grateful. We want to thank you, our loving Father. Thank you for your mercy upon our lives and your compassion that faileth not upon this generation. Lord, we are grateful for what you are doing in our midst, for what you are doing in our lives. Lord, we thank you for the blessedness of this new week. Lord, we pray, O oh God, King of glory, that your mercy, O oh God, will be our companion through this week and beyond in Jesus' name. Lord, even as you send forth your word, we pray that you will enable us to understand and put them to work. These are many more we pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Glory to God. We started a wonderful topic titled Uniqueness. If you have not watched it, please, I beg you, go and watch it. It's a series. So, by the grace of God, today we are going to be reading uh, the book of Mark, chapter number 11. Mark, chapter number 11. And we're just going to take verse 1 to 3. Uh, though it's a lengthy verse, but I just want to concentrate on that. And uh, it says, As they approached Jerusalem near the town of Bethpage and Bethany, they came to the Mount of Olive. Jesus sent two of his disciples on ahead with these instructions. Go to the village there ahead of you. As soon as you get there, you will find a court tied up that has never, I want you to take note, has never been ridden. Untie it and bring it here. Verse number three. And if someone asks you, why are you doing that? Say that the master needs it and we send it back at once. May the Lord bless the reading of his word in our heart in Jesus' name. Here is a court. We all know courts. They are, they are domestic animals. You take them to the farm, use them to bring load, use them, you know, to, you can sit on them, come home and one thing or the other. You know, these, uh, these animals were designed for a particular purpose. But this particular one on this day, or uh, according to this story, failed to be fulfilling his own purpose. Every other court we are going to the farm. Every other court we are busy doing one thing or the other. But this one was just tied. It has never been used. You know, if I, I just believed that court was just feeling cost when the mates were going to, to going to farm when they come back they tell him how the outing was he was just there you know just feeling one thing or the other it's like the the, the owner just abandoned it there probably because he was not too strong he was not experienced want for one reason or the other but the good news i came to tell you my friend this morning is that your challenge is part of your uniqueness your challenge is part of your uniqueness you know this court must have been feeling one thing or the other but little did he know that there was a pro Prophecy over his head that made his own situation so special that made him that no one ever rode on him. Therefore, my dear friends, I came to tell you that you must close your ears against the noise of observers. I just imagine the pressure that was being mounted on him. Probably your case is like that court. You are just tired, you are just stuck, nothing is working, everybody is running, everybody is busy, everybody is doing one thing or the other. It's just as if though you are not useful. Beloved, there is a prophecy over everyone. 
man. There is a prophecy even up to this animal. It was not predicted that Jesus will ride on this animal to, he will ride on this course straight to Jerusalem. And this day, the, the court never knew there was a prophecy over him. But little did he know that his circumstance and all he was doing was part of the exercise. While others were busy going to the farm, carrying ordinary things, carrying ordinary load, mere load, mere man, this court was just being reserved. He would take one step forward, two step forward, three step backward, you know, move round the, 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 the tree where he was tied, moved round. Little did he know he was exercising himself for the greater assignment. Beloved, that situation, what you are going through, the little things you are doing is an exercise to your Jerusalem because Jerusalem is not just a nearby walk. And another thing I saw about this story again, which I want to encourage you with my, bre my, my beloved brethren, is this though man may forget you that there is a God that sees no matter how no matter how hidden your locality may be he saw that there was a court there and he described the situation that it has never been used because of one reason or go and bring him the Lord will send for you just be patient you are so unique you are not cursed nothing is wrong with you don't get yourself into this anxiety and competitive spirit Gradually, the Lord is coming for you. You know that that course, we take some step forward. We take some step backward. We take some step forward. While others were just moving, moving. But they didn't carry, they, they were not having the same destiny. One thing I, I saw about it, even both the owner of the court were part of the people that pulled his clothes on the floor for the court to, to move upon. Not just moving upon because it was a court, but because of the use, because of what he carried. Therefore, beloved, your uniqueness keep it don't mess it up because there is one that is going to come that you are going to carry that even your mockers will spread clothes spread their clothes will be the one to sing your praise that was exactly what happened to this court all his past pain and story was wiped away you know, everybody began to shout to Zana. And I just imagined the court say, Oh, thank God I never carried the load. Thank God I never carried the young. Thank God I never carried the main man. That will be your testimony. Remember, as you go through this week, what you are going through is part of the challenge. And if this video has blessed, I want you to like. I want you to comment. By so doing, YouTube will be recommending it for others. And please, probably your situation is like that court. I want you to understand you are unique. You are made for more. There is a bigger thing coming your way. And I would love to pray with you. Probably you are depressed because others have gone ahead. Probably you are weary because one thing or the other. Probably there is so much pressure upon you. Probably one thing is just going through your mind. I want you to understand that the Lord knows you. The Lord cares for you. The Lord loves you. And he's coming through for you. Can we just bow our heads together? My Father, my God, the great comforter, the one that sees. Lord, King of glory, I pray for everyone, oh God, in such situations, talked, everyone depressed right now because of situations going round about them. Lord, I pray you will open their eyes of understanding. Lord, I pray, oh God, you will, you will help them in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray you will strengthen them in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray you will preserve them in the name of Jesus for this great and glorious purpose for their life. Lord, I pray for them. They will not lose it. They will not miss out. They will not fail before their glory in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Asian of Bains. For everyone, para venture that have lost it, Lord, because of pressure, I pray for divine restoration. I pray you rewrite their story again and give them another opportunity to rejoice. These and many more will pray in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Yes, I come your way again. My name's remain Vitri Adesu Igori Oragmo, aka your breakfast host. God bless you and have a wonderful morning. Shalom.